quite easily, and uh, but over eight sheep, who knows? It's a bit of an extension of what they've done uh, in the semi-finals, so it'll be who can control these monsters the best. Once again, the sheep come from Bagshot. They are big and strong. These guys are uh, a little bit better equipped, perhaps, than the juniors that were up before us through to uh, with the ability to handle sheep, but they're very, very strong animals, and uh, anybody's, anybody's game. Masterton will hope, of course, David Gordon comes through with a withering run, but he's been just flagging a little bit as far as the pace goes. He'll have to be in top gear here this afternoon. I, 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 I would have to lean to David uh, Gordon. I've, I haven't seen many shows this year, but the ones I've been to, this young guy is, uh, has been uh, winning them. But the golden shears is a clean sheet of paper, isn't it? Oh, it's a new thing that happens down here. It's the same old thing, but it's a lot more pressure. The prestige of winning that lovely purple ribbon or red ribbon as such, it, uh, to walk away with that kudos. A little bit of pocket money at the end of the day, of course, it goes with the prize money. But So it's going to be interesting with that David Leith there. Look, um... He's probably got a little bit of size on those sheep. And those, I don't know what the farm has been feeding those sheep at Bagshot, but they've come through pretty well, haven't they? Been a dry summer down here, but the, the, all the sheep that have come through the Golden Shears have, uh, are in fine fettle and a real test of strength and ability. We have the all clear from the referee. Shearers are on the board. The green light's on. Timekeeper's right. Judges, competitors, go! We're off and moving once again. Well, we just talked about the favourites, but they're all favourites in somebody's heart up there. We've got young Simon Goss, just a youngster. But by golly, he is quite capable of handling these big sheep. He's been shearing now for about five or so, six years. And uh, while he might not have grown a heck of a lot in stature, he's certainly grown a lot with expertise. And he knows how to get the wool off. So there's plenty of action here and it'll be interesting to see who gets the first drop. Phoenix Hawkins sure pretty well in the elimination rounds. Second qualifier into the final. So but here we've got an Aussie there and he's got the name of Speed. So is he going to live up to that? Ooh, into the long blow they go. Pretty much all over a blanket over them. Tie happy. A little bit behind the mark at the moment as David Gordon turns for home on the last side. But I think it's the youngster down the far end. Simon Goss, you, he's taken out. He got across a couple of quick blows and he's down and under the shoulder. And he's going to be punching out that last egg very shortly. Yeah, this is going to be very, very close. So out the hind leg is Simon Goss. We'll have a run through when they put these sheep down the portal. Ladies and gentlemen, because Simon Goss has put the finishing touches. He was sharing for a minute and 15. David Gordon was about a minute and 20. So it's as close as that in goes the Australian. Scott Speed goes in on stand number four. So on stand one, one we've got the local man from Macedon, David Gordon, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Gavin Kelly from Tai Happy on stand number two. Andrew Leith from Dipton is shearing on stand three. Scott Speed from Australia is on stand four. Phoenix Hawkins from Martinborough, he's up there on stand number five. And then we've got Simon Goss from Kimbolton up there on stand number six. So we've got a bit of thunder and lightning now, Coral, because these boys are cooking up a storm. The storm's been created here on the Golden Shears platform, ladies and gentlemen. Its name is an Atamida. It's a stage. But on stand number one, David Gordon, the form boy, is up there. Up the long blow as he turns for the last side. A bit of action goes. He's got a little bit of passion with the fashion as well. Down the last side, this young man goes. He's been chased along by Andrew Leith. These guys in Dipton, that's where our treasurer comes from and they want to know where their money's been spent. Down he goes, he's chasing this boy, David Gordon, all the way to the bank. But here comes the Phoenix rising out of the ashes. The Martinborough boy is coming right back at him. Sit still, you bugger. Here he is. Give him a bit of a squeeze up. Give him the Harlem shuffle. Down the last side of Phoenix. In goes Simon Goss, Johnny McBride. Oh, the trust house in the media final. She's alive and kicking here. Simon Goss had a really big sheep in that last one, but he got a couple, lost a couple of blows on the pace. 
But he's right back in the game now, along with Phoenix Hawkins, brings out cheap number three. Out with number three is the uh, Dipton lad, Andrew Leith. Up over the tail on the front stand, David Gordon. Three on the board for him. A little bit of dust on the top of the head. He says, that's not going to worry me. I'm going to blow that top knot off, and he does it pretty easily. Into the pen goes Gavin Kelly from Ty Happy. The very close field indeed. Scott Speed, the Australian, coming up the undermine. Who's out in front? It looks like the young Goss lad down on the far end. Kim Bolton could be pretty proud if he can take this one away. Rocking up the long blow, but we're a long way from finding a winner as yet. Turning for home onto the money side of the sheep. Likewise, there's a Andrew Leith from Dipton on stand three and a David Gordon from Masterton. Turning now, one blow to go is a... The Phoenix there on stand number five. Into the long blow for the Australian. He needs to keep the hammer down. He's throwing the bog iron at the wall now and turning from the last side. Gavin Kelly rocks into the long blow, but down the bottom end. In and out goes Simon Goss. Yeah, Simon Goss watched his sister winning that women's invitational event last night. So he's thinking, I'm not going to be putting up with her shouting. I'm going to win my own. Into the hind leg he goes. David Gordon from Masterton. He brings sheep number four to the board. Phoenix Hawkins, he brings four. Scott Speed, the Australian, he brings out four. So we've got a real final now, ladies and gentlemen. You're still far too quiet. This is a final up here now. Make a bit of noise for these boys. Oh, Simon Goss. She has a bit of a kick and a wriggle. He's using a bit of language that his mother wouldn't like. Up there on stand number six. Up the neck he goes. David Corden has caught him back up. Andrew Leith from Dipton. He's caught him up. Now we've got a closed board up here. They're all going to be battling. It's all going to be down to those back pen points. Look at these boys now. They're wheeling the steel, Coro. Wheeling the steel to right, and there's a little bit of action going on. This man on stand number three, he looks a very sharp young man. Andrew Leith coming down the last side, he's put the little bit of space between them. He says, I've played around with you boys enough, and down the last side I come. But oh, the boy Hawkins, the Martinborough boy, he's all star. We'll have to call him Sade, a smooth operator. Down the last side he goes, Hawkins is there, where the boy on stand number three goes like a whirlwind. Handpiece change, John McBride. Oh, just watching one of the mothers down there. <laughs> and uh, the, what do these young shearers and they're getting... A very torrid time when the mothers are chewing the fingernails off the end of the hand. Oh, golly, David Gordon out the last leg he goes. In goes Scott Speed now, the Australian. Over the last side comes Gavin Kelly. Simon Goss says, I've had enough of that bog iron. In he goes with a new blade on. Phoenix Hawkins down the first off leg. But it's Dipton out in front there. Young Andrew Leith comes over the top. As you say, he's firing the shots in pretty quick and furious. Phoenix tightens the pressure a little bit on the tension knob. Steps forward up the neck. Scott Speed's right there as well and around the back of the head. He says, I can shear these crossbreds as well as the Marinos. Look at him dropping into the long blow. Finishing touches here for Gavin Kelly. Up over the top comes either end of the field. Simon Goss and David Gordon a blow for blow. But dipped and going around the last side there on stand number three now. He's... Four or five blows in front of the Phoenix Hawkins, the Martin Barrel lad. Over the top comes the Australian. Come on, Scotty Speed, fireman. Look at him come down the last side. Who's got the fastest last side out of three, four, and five? That could be Scott Speed at the moment. He's hitting the front. Look at look it. I think he's going to put them and get in for sheep number six. Yeah, Scott Speed there on stand number four. He said, G'day, mate, I'm away. In he goes in, fresh edge for him. Andrew Leith from Dipton. He just flicks the belly well off. He thought, right there, mate, we can beat you on the rugby field. I can beat you on the shearing board. Into the back leg he goes now then. Andrew Leith from Dipton. He's swinging the steel. Now he's away. This is what you call peeling with feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, he thought I'm here for a hard time. Not a good time. Up the neck he goes now. You can see the muscles are starting to redden up. He's starting to get a bit of passion going. He's throwing the steel. 
with Phoenix Hawkins. He's a cool customer down there on stand number five. And then we've got the Aussie there on stand number four. Where's his support now? There's a lot of them over here. They step over on the long blows together. They're going to turn together. Scott Speed said, I don't like these Kiwi sheep. They kick. He's coming down the last side, though. But it's between Phoenix Hawkins and Andrew Leith from Dipton. Down they come together. Out the hind leg together. Who's going to be the first into that pen? You watch him now, Coro. They're going to rip that door off. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a good old trans-Tasman scrap on here. The boy from the speech, the timey kangaroo down. Sport, he's a really going to give these boys a good hand. Hawkins is there, he's uh, struggling at the way at the moment, into the belly goes the speedster Leaf there onto the belly as well David Hawkins coming down the last side, Gavin Kelly long blow, in goes Simon Goss, they're a little bit quiet this Goss family, because this Andrew Leaf's going up the neck now up the neck goes the Phoenix round behind the Erie work Sheep number seven on the board, ladies and gentlemen. These young shearers have got the mojo moving along now. Into the undermine and up the neck goes this young Simon Goss. The long blow time for Andrew Leith now. Andrew Leith shearing, come on, make a bit of noise, you South Islanders. Down the last side is the South Islander. He looks buggered, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a hand now. Down the last side is the Martin Burra boy. He here comes the Australian now. Down the last side, the boy from Aussie. Johnny, what a good intermediate. Trust House final. Oh, they're going hard. Hammer and tong. Sheep number eight, the final sheep. Coming out on stand number three. Hawkins just a half a blow behind on five. About six or seven blows back is Scott Speed, the Aussie. Stepping up the neck is Ty Heavy's Gavin Kelly. He's trailing the field. Simon Goss is steaming down the last side. Under the shoulder on the last side is David Gordon as well. These young fellows bet that out over the shows for a long, long time. But here comes the Australian. It's sheep number eight for him. Who's got the pace so still with the South Island Dipton? Look at him go. Andrew Leith up the neck. Up the top comes the... Down there, Phoenix Hawkins. Simon Goss has got the belly off it. David Gordon changes the blade. Down the last side comes Gavin Kelly. Up over the top, the Australian. Into the long blow, though, for Andrew Lees. He's poking it big and quick up the long blow. He's still got three or four blows on Phoenix Hawkins, Hugh, and he turns for the money side. Yeah, Can you get him home? Andrew Lees has decided, bugger this, I'm off. He's turned, he's coming down the last side. But Phoenix Hawkins is sticking to him like glue. Who's the sheep? Who's going to have this quiet sheep to sit there? Because down the last side they come. The big fella from down south though, from Lipton. He's got it under control, ladies and gentlemen. One last little bit of a flick. Out goes Andrew Leith from Dipton on stand number three there. Then we got the quiet fella. He's a real quiet character on stand number five. Phoenix Hawkins goes out. Scott Speed, the Australian. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy there on stand. Number four as he goes out. Who's the rest of him? David Gordon. He's a quiet, cool contender. He's thinking, by God, I wish I'd stayed on in school. Down the last side comes David Gordon. Oh, out goes Simon Goss on stand six. Then we've got David Gordon from Macedon. One last little bit of a flick for him. These boys are shearing very well, Coro. So we just got Gavin Kelly from Tai Happy. Bring him home, Coro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give this young Gavin Kelly a good hand as he finishes off. This is the closest intermediate final I have ever seen. Give them a good hand, ladies and gentlemen. And we, uh, we go into an instant prize. A little bit of music while we bring the sky down. Andrew, you were the first to finish. Bugger all, right? bugger all, really. But uh, first of all, do you roll your R's? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. Hey, look, this is the closest intermediate final I have ever seen. Look at the points; they all look very similar, and it's up to the judges outside. 
And uh, you've been in a Golden Cheers final before? Uh, yeah, in junior last year. I saw your photo, I knew you'd say that. Hey, congratulations, and uh, how did you think you went? Oh, uh, I don't know, really. I was just waiting to find out. Got any words of encouragement for the family out there? Oh, no, thanks for the, thanks for the support. I could hear you, something's up there. Cheers. Thank you very much. This is young uh, Andrew, and let's go and have a talk to the Australian. Come over here, brother. Tie me kangaroo down. I, I can't sing Australian, but uh, hey, it's wonderful to have our family from across the ocean there. And how did you feel in the Golden Shears Trust House final this afternoon? Oh, I'm not sure. We'll see how we go, I suppose. A bit tired now. Do you roll your R's? Hey. <laughs> Just... He got an Aussie twang, hasn't he? Give us a little bit more words about your background. Where's home? Uh, South Australia. Well, South Australia is, a big as, is probably as big as New Zealand, and uh, I won't ask you anymore, but it, it was a great, great final, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I enjoyed it. So you changed your name like Kim Dok Con to Speed? Uh, no. You were born a Speed? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, give all those intermediate cheerers a good hand as we bring on the... Kieran. Thank you, Kuro. Isn't it great to see the Australians taking part? And, of course, tonight part of the uh, program includes the Trans-Tasman cheering test. We're all looking forward to that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is to award the prizes to the Trust House Intermediate Shearing Competitors. With me I have Alan Pollard, the CEO of Trust House, who will be presenting the awards. Thank you very much, Ken. Hey, boy, that was impressive. Hey, Trust House has been associated with the Golden Shears for many, many years. Uh, and it's an association that we're extremely proud of and long may it continue. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Trust House Intermediate Shearing will receive $500. The 2013 Trust House Intermediate Shearing winner is... Ladies and gentlemen, it is David Gordon. Congratulations, mate. Uh, Five hundred dollars. Do you have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> Ladies, a single man with five hundred dollars in his pocket. You can thank me later. You must be delighted. Well done. Yeah, I'd just like to thank all my family, dad, mum, and yeah, everyone for coming, the sponsors, the farmer for the sheep, and all the other boys. Cheers. Well done, just down the end there. Congratulations. The second prize winner will receive $250. And that goes to Simon Goss. Third place receives $200, and the winner is Phoenix Hawkins. The fourth place getter receiving $160 is Andrew Leaf. Fifth place receives $150, and that goes to Scott Speed. And the sixth place receiving $140. Gavin Kelly, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, mate. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Just while these competitors get their photo taken, uh, sit back, relax. Next up will be the senior sharing final. Thank you. When you sit outside for a show to grief, talk to folks as they come and leave. John O.J. and Chris. Just quickly, competitors are now open wall handling semi finals. Uh, we'll just 